Okay, now I'm going to show just an example of how I have ranked articles for both short tail and long tail keyword phrases and on both the different ends of the spectrum. There's a reason I even tell you to optimize your images, your URLs, so that they have keyword phrases inside of them as well. If we look up SOAP and Seinfeld email sequences, this actual keyword gets, I believe, somewhere between 150 to 200 searches per month, depending on, of course, what time of the year it is. But that being said, you're gonna see me rank fairly high. Not only is this my video that's ranking as well, and it will link back to this URL, but we can go inside, look inside this SOAP Seinfeld email sequence, I've opened up the URL and here you can see it is simply just an image. This image by itself is ranking inside of Google. If we even I'm sure went over into images, we would see other images within. Yep. There's mine from YouTube. There's mine, Zach Miller.com. Again, all of these sorts of things when they're optimized properly are going to get you rankings in multiple different forms of the search engines that Google has. Google has a search engine. The organic is separate from the video. Uh, the video of course being the actual tab video as well as the separate search engine of Google images. You're going to have different images that rank inside of here as well. A lot of these uh, images inside are from my website because I have optimized these things so well. And here again, it is just ranking for a normal URL inside of Google Organic, as you'll see right there. So again, all of this is a big portion of why you optimize every little portion of your article that you can, because you're going to be gaining traffic from numerous different areas and places online. And that's what really culminates into an article becoming popular much faster. The final one that I'm going to do is here's more of a short one. It's Diego Davila. He is really popular on the site called Udemy and I had an interview with him. There's been lots of others that have done interviews even be well before that I did the interview um, with Diego, but guess what? I optimized mine much better. So within just a few short weeks, I was ranking over everybody else out there. So my video, as you can see, page one, position one. The reason I have that is because it's not only ranking inside and I could sh show you how to actually rank YouTube videos inside. I may create a course just on that, but there's a whole different thing around that. Um, but I do link from that video into one of my top ranking URLs. So again, they're kind of feeding each other off. So they're going to be a lot closer to each other on the top. And I wouldn't be surprised to see this right here, this organic link move up beyond the videos and the videos get pushed down, maybe even only having one, two, or just my video at all. And it's because of the optimization and the interlinking that I have that makes that so much more powerful. I'm going to go into the Diego De DeVille interview. I'm also going to edit the post so that way you can kind of see what it looks like inside of Yoast. Um, again, this is just, all it is is a transcription. I paid someone, I believe it was $15, $15. That was it to transcribe a ginormously long, look at all this, all that text for me and Diego in our interview. And it was well worth it. As you can see, uh, the just people looking up Diego Davila because he's so popular as um, an instructor, I'm actually getting somewhere between 150 to 200 searches a month targeted towards just this type of search. So again, it's not that we're getting huge, enormous keywords, they're bringing in tens of thousands, it's that we're optimizing each individual article for a small keyword, and then as that keyword ranks, it's naturally going to pull in much bigger terms that I would call in the creative common cloud. And what I mean by that is that Diego Davila is then going to start ranking eventually outside of the Diego Davila interview. Right. Or sometimes you can even get as deep as going, you know, this is a really popular. So maybe it's just for anyone named Diego or anyone with the last name Davila. There's things where you're going to start ranking for shorter term keywords, but you have to focus on your long tail first. When you focused on your long tail first, you're going to rank for those much faster. Get that initial traffic surge. That's where Google starts saying, ah, people like your articles. People are reading your content. Therefore, we're going to show it to more people so that we can get a bigger, wider audience for you. And we'll also get feedback on how popular are you? How much time are people spending on your article? How involved are you inside your articles? Are they well optimized? Do they have things that our spiders can find? 
you know just like my images they have alt tags like I've told you to optimize and then we'll start ranking those as well and pushing traffic to each of those little modules or bits of your article you put it all together there can be a big traffic surge from having the right article optimized for just small keywords at a time soon ranking for longer short tail keywords so again we come back in here the readability it certainly does need improvement I could definitely improve that and I probably will at a later date what I like to do is usually uh, just go back and optimize everything for SEO first then for readability second because most of the time like I've explained your readability scores are going to be judged based on and there's a uh, all-in-one <laughs> based on that flesh reading ease score and most of the ways to do it of course are to as it says here eight or more paragraphs containing more than 150 words I get that and then there's a lot of um, how would I say not enough subheadings those subheadings are really what makes the biggest difference most times in a flesh reading score equivalency because you're going to be breaking up that content the better you break it up the more readable it is the more easy it is to consume highlight things of what that entire paragraph is about so people can get the idea that's why uh, you really want to improve this as the future goes on because your flesh score is going to become more and more important so again here's just some uh, ideas of things that I've ranked you can go to these URLs you can look up these keywords I have no doubt that they'll probably always be well optimized and well ranking because I'm always going to be investing inside of my website putting up go good content for short tail key or sorry for long tail keywords and then a lot of those short tail phrases will naturally come to me it's almost like Google's aggregate ranking algorithm in which when you start ranking for say 10 or a dozen key long tail keywords around a specific phrase that short tail phrase will then also itself begin ranking for your website even though you've maybe never optimized for it built backlinks for it, or Denny done any of such optimization for that specific phrase but since it all has relevance within like I said that kind of tag cloud that Creative Commons that's what makes these things so powerful so again like I said go ahead and go to these links if you'd like to you can view kind of how easy my social media posts and everything that I do and share on my blog is simple it doesn't have to be complex optimizing your articles should be easy fun simple and shouldn't take too much time that's the whole point of getting leverage when you're a blogger 